So Gamescom was earlier today, and if you showed up to the stream, thank you so much for that. Today, though, we are going to be breaking down not just the trailer, but also some footage that Bungie themselves put out that actually shows Beyond Light gameplay. Now, a lot of what was in the trailer is already in this gameplay. You could tell this is like the unedited, uncut version to what essentially went into the trailers. But let's start with this opening scenes. This is obviously Europa. We've got a Kel ship coming in. We've got our Guardians walking through the snow, and as you can tell, we've already seen a lot of this stuff. Some gameplay here of what appears to be a hunter doing his slam attack we've seen that before him throwing his grenade which spawns that stasis ice wall of sorts then we get to this frame right here showcasing our warlocks spawning a staff and then proceeds to freeze all the enemies in front of him. now we've talked about this titan ability before and we're seeing it in action yet again you see the titans are sliding straight through these enemies and are just breaking all of these enemies that have been frozen by stasis now is this in relation to warlocks abilities allowing him to do that i don't think so because we've seen titans do this all on their own and other pieces of footage which tells me that it may have something to do with either maybe an exotic that he might be wearing that we don't know about or something to do with his subclass we also got some visuals which looks to be like a strike you can just kind of tell by the vibe of it the three-man fire team running out you can see the no time to explain pulse rifle and again all these clips we've already seen before but in trailer form shows a couple more clips of the subclass at work that's like the titan slam and again there's like a combo to technique that works with that where you can just come in and do like this ballistic fist slam with this super pretty amazing which makes me believe it's like a combo technique maybe you could slam and then it activates the ability to combo melee into those enemies then we see some more footage of europa it's cold man but this is when we actually get to take a look at the ui so right here our titan pops his super which is where he gets those big globs of like stasis ice on his hands and he does a slam attack which of course like splits into three different directions now it actually states that he has glacial quake which is what does that freeze ability but notice crystalline plating there pops up now i don't know if crystalline plating is being pulled from a subclass or if it's actually being pulled from say an exotic he might be wearing an exotic but he's going in doing these melee attacks and as you can see very similar to what we've seen with bottom tree striker the difference is is the large amount of aoe damage that he's doing with every melee hit which is pretty substantial then it actually seems like the way to use a super is of course use your heavy attack first and then lead with your melee like we said a second ago some lunge capabilities that occurs on top of just freezing your enemies in place is obviously a good thing as this super does require you to be close to your enemy so you freeze them say like an enemy that's trying to run away from you you hit them with that wave of stasis it catches them freezes them in place and then you can proceed to push up on them and wreck them a sexy super for sure and it seems to also last a pretty good duration but even looking at some of the other things first up look at the grenade ability in the ui it just looks like a blue flame and then to the right of it is the melee ability but again i have no idea what the neutral game of this subclass is because we mainly see it just from the perspective of when you're in your super and it does show the melee being burnt when landing a melee hit not when getting a melee kill but it almost instantly recharges again the crystalline plating there is interesting i am starting to think that it is more tied to the subclass itself moving on we have the warlock this doesn't show the ui just more or less show what we've seen in the trailer which is just the warlock it's essentially either doing an all-around AOE effect around the staff, which freezes enemies, or goes out toward enemies, almost like an Axion Bolt of some sort, but it like shoots four. It appears to be four at a time. I wonder if there's any type of spread, any way you can influence the spread of those bolts, but it appears that you have to do two things. You have to, one, freeze the enemies before destroying them. Next, we have the Hunter. Now, the Hunter has pickaxes in his super. Remember, we pointed out the last time we did a Stasis gameplay breakdown, how this super is very similar to blade barrage animation looks very similar as well he throws them out but notice his super is instantly gone it's it is a one and done shut down super which does everything at once not only does it freeze the enemies but it seems to do like a delayed detonation which destroys all of those enemies honestly looks to be extremely powerful now you probably see him running up he throws his ninja stars yes that's right two ninja stars now notice he's got the flame there as his grenade which tells me that this is more than likely that that frost wall grenade since we've seen the hunter throw that exact grenade i'm thinking that titans 2 also get one of those frost wall grenades but yeah you do get two ninja stars one ninja star here proceeds to suppress notice this bandle behind has that suppression area of effect around its body i don't know if it blinds him or anything it seems like he's still trying to like charge up his gun so it seems like he can visually still see your guardian it just suppresses him and then the finisher attack right here again seeing the super being cast this silence and squall again it's two pick 
pickaxes being thrown, each with a very sizable initial detonation plus an even larger area detonation, which freezes the targets. I gotta say, guys, the synergy on the hunter looks absolutely nuts. You got the ninja stars going in effect. Yeah, yeah, the frost wall grenades. That's insane. Now we get to see it from the PvP perspective. Now we have a hunter throwing a grenade right here. This seems to be like the vortex version of the stasis slash frost grenades. It freezes the enemies, so it does the prime effect, and he throws the ninja star, which does double kill. Now I think the grenades have more potency when it comes to actually stopping freezing targets that are in that AOE damage effect. Because in previous gameplay, we've seen these shurikens. Am I saying that right? Shuriken? Down south, we just call them ninja stars. Ninja stars, though, suppresses on hit, and then you needed to actually throw a second ninja star to get the freeze on the enemy. It seems like in this situation, though, the vortex grenades, if landed correctly, and there's probably like a time duration, like depending on how long you stand in that AOE effect, results in whether or not you actually get frozen in place. But it seems like it does like a suppression, perhaps. And then depending on how long you stand in it, it'll actually freeze you. Then we see a Titan right here. He throws a grenade, showcasing that the frost wall grenade is also present here on the Titan class. And then he goes in for the overhead slam. Now, this is a beautiful slam showing himself freezing all these enemies. And look how him and this warlock are working off of each other. He does his AOE slam to freeze them in place. The warlock does his AOE staff smash. I guess is that what we're going to call it? The staff smash. He does his staff smash, which proceeds to detonate all of these guardians. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is the gameplay that was posted today, like the unofficial gameplay. But we did get to see the trailer itself. And I did want to talk about this for just a moment because we got to see some of the weapons that these guardians were wielding. And it is a pretty dope trailer, by the way. If you haven't checked it out, I'll link it in the description below. A lot of this gameplay we've already seen, but what we have not seen is, of course, the name of the subclasses. Warlock, Shade Binder, Fracture with Frost. It precedes the show gameplay we've pretty much already seen before, but I like the name of like Shade Binder, right? And we've had Shade Step, now Shade Binder. Huh? We see more gameplay of him screwing over this Goldie. Rest in peace, Goldie. Now, this is actually him not in his super. This seems to be the neutral game. He throws a grenade, which as you see, suppresses this golden gun. Then he extends his staff, which sends out, again, this Axion Bolt looking Frost thing, which is probably his melee, and it probably does have some level of tracking, similar to say something like Celestial Fire. This freezes the Guardian, and then he proceeds to finish him off with a sniper rifle shot. We'll talk about the sniper in just a second, but again, this proves our point. And even on like Bungie's updated website here, they even mention it. You got a stasis field. Even the odds by slowing your enemies in a stasis field, then aim down sights at your next target. And then it says freeze. A frozen foe is a conquered foe. Control the battle by immobilizing enemies in silent stasis. So then they're frozen and then proceed to shatter them. A hell of icy razors erupts from broken stasis crystals, damaging those unlucky enough to be near. So that is the flow chart. You present some sort of stasis field, whether it's through your melee, your grenade maybe. You proceed to freeze your target either with that single ability or with a follow-up ability and then proceed to shatter them with whatever means you want. Now, obviously from this body shot on the sniper rifle, it really doesn't matter. Now, back to the sniper rifle. A lot of us looked at it and immediately, I think many of us thought, whoa, is that Beloved? I don't think so. Beloved is about to be sunset. Bungie wouldn't be reissuing a new ornament for that weapon. And I think even DMG stated a while back that no new ornaments would be reissued for Beloved. It was interesting though here recently that Wish You Luck put out a tweet that a new sniper was going to be replacing Beloved next season called the Adored. And that supposedly is going to be a ritual pinnacle weapon with crap PvP perks, but who knows? Then we see the Hunter here in the trailer, subclass titled Revenant, Bring the Storm. Dude, like I said a second ago, I honestly think the Hunter is going to be the most OP next season. Then we have the Titan here called Behemoth, Crash like an avalanche, then proceeds to show gameplay of this Titan going in on all these enemies. So guys, that's pretty much everything what we've seen with Stasis. Absolutely looks epic. I do want to take a moment though to look at some of the images also that have been put out by Bungie. So these are actually officially from Bungie. We have a picture here of all the new location weapons. So I'm assuming these are going to be all Europa related weapons. They've got that red and blue look we've seen on a number of other weapons. We've got a sidearm, an auto rifle, a shotgun, a rocket launcher, and a scout. Interesting look. I have no idea what the foundry is supposed to be here. Like I want to say we saw another image of one of these weapons and we saw the foundry. And not that the foundry like really matters, but normally you can kind of like conclude some of the strengths of certain weapons depending on the lore and their foundry, which can give us some speculation to what the weapons will be like this coming up fall. So guys, that is pretty much everything from today. I may have missed some things. Actually, Bungie just dropped a twab and I'm looking through it right now. Nothing major. Pretty much just going over like the stasis stuff, the reveal stuff that happened today. 
There is an early patch note preview coming, which is not really sandbox changes. It's just more or less fixes. Things like glow intensity on your source of heroes armor, sleeper notes, and what's happening to them in regards to their override frequencies. It's actually some sort of like bad luck protection for those sleeper nodes. Dude, I can't even remember how to even get sleep. It's been so long. As well as a number of assorted fixes and changes. Down below in the description will be a link to the TWAB if you want to go check it out, guys. But it's pretty much just a small overview of all the stasis stuff that went on today. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Are you excited about what you've seen? As of now, I know some people are like, man, Crucible is going to be lit on fire. Not really. It's just going to be real frosty, right? You know what I mean? Look, freezing enemies in place is kind of OP. It is. I'll give you that. I have no idea how it's going to play out. I do know that everyone, and I mean everyone, is going to be using stasis. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.